According to Deadline, 20th Century Fox has just hired Peter Chelsom, The Space Between Us, Hannah Montana, the movie, to direct an adaptation of Kathy Bird's best-selling memoir, The Boy Who. New Too Much, which tells the completely real and 100% true story of a young boy, Bird's son, Christian Haupt, who claims to be the reincarnation of baseball legend Lou Gehrig. You heard me, from about the age of two, Christian Haupt began an obsession with baseball, insisting on wearing a baseball uniform and talking about his experiences of being a pro ball player in the 1920s and 30s, only to have his career cut short and dying soon after. The youth, who's considered a baseball prodigy, convinced his family that, in that former life he was Hall of Fame New York Yankees slugging first baseman Lou Gehrig. Maybe you're thinking, I bet that kid is lying about being Lou Gehrig, but apparently you missed the part where this is an insanely legitimate and in no way made up story. It's certainly not a story invented to sell books, or a story designed to cater to the same sort of people who willingly purchased many, many copies of the book written by that kid who claimed heaven is for real. I mean, look, the book announces itself as an astounding true story, right there on the cover. What, you think someone's just gonna print a bold-faced lie in an effort to make money? Must be hard, living in a world that's cynical, and besides, this kid's bona fides are unimpeachable. Deadline's report mentions that a, he knows a number of Lou Gehrig-related stories, stories he couldn't possibly have heard elsewhere, and certainly not from anyone who might be interested in coaching a child into telling the sort of tall tales that might result in a book deal. b, he pitches left-handed, what, you think he just happens to be left-handed, just like Lou Gehrig? Get real, and see, he appeared in the 2012 Adam Sandler film That's My Boy while playing baseball. Case closed. Chelsom seems prepared for your skepticism, saying, there have been skeptics, but there are also irrefutable truths that became impossible to ignore. We imagine these irrefutable truths will be explored at length in The Boy Who Knew Too Much, at which point all you naysayers are gonna look extremely dumb. Maybe get out there and read a goddamn book, try and learn something for once, and you'll realize the world is a far more fantastical place than you ever imagined, the boy who knew too much hopes to shoot this fall.